Hi everybody and welcome to our kitchen here in our home in Brittany in northwest France. If you're here for the first time, nice to see you. I'm Jane, husband Mike is behind the camera and every Friday we open our kitchen and share some frugal food with you. So let's take a look at what we're going to cook for you this week. our channel on our Facebook page you'll know that every now and then I'll put out a what do you want me to cook and something that everybody wanted me to cook was homity pie. Homity pie is one of those really really old English recipes it's been it's been around as long as I can remember and it's potatoes and parsley and onions or garlic or leeks and a rich creamy sauce and loads and loads of cheese. Now, that is what I'm going to cook, but I do know that some of you will watch this and I get streams of comments underneath you saying, I can't eat gluten or I can't eat carbs. So for you, what I did is I looked at a gluten-free version of this, which incidentally is also low carb. And I looked and looked and looked all over the place for a low carb version of homity pie and this was the best one that I could come up with. So it's gluten free and it's low carb but for all of you who really like the traditional recipe that's what you're going to get to. So let's have a look at the ingredients that I'm going to be cooking with today. <music> So let's run through the ingredients of homity pie two ways. Let's start off with a traditional homity pie. Down to me please first. Now, first of all I would normally make a regular flour short crust pastry. This I found in the supermarket is 40 cents. I can't make a regular pastry for 40 cents. So I'm going to try this today and so that one. So it's just to prove to you as well I'm not perfect. Every now and then if I find a cheap and easy alternative that's what I've done today. So that's going to make a large flan sized homity pie into which goes a good bowl full of potatoes. Now these are cooked already. They're part cooked because this will cook again when it goes in the oven. So I've tested them with a the knife, they're quite soft, but they are not overcooked. And I have here, and this is going to go split between the two homty pies, two large, lightly sautéed leeks. Don't overcook them, they'll lose their greenness and they won't be very nice. I then have here a good handful of chopped parsley. I'd say in American scientists that's about a cup of chopped parsley. In each of my homity pies, I am going to put a half teaspoon of garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic, it's up to you. In each homity pie, I am going to put 100 grams of grated, mature, strong tasting cheese. Now I've used a British cheddar cheese here, proper cheddar cheese, real cheddar cheese. But you can use any cheese you want any cheese you like. Then I'm going to mix with this because this is really cheap here. This is, this is, you know, very affordable for us. This is creme fraiche. You can use sour cream if you can't get hold of creme fraiche. And that makes up the ingredients of the traditional size of a homity pie. So next we'll take a look at how do I make that gluten free and low carb. alternative. As you know if you've been watching this channel for a while I can't eat gluten so I'm always looking for a gluten free alternative and since I've been cooking more and more and people are saying more and more that they do not eat carbs I've been looking at low carb alternatives. So in my homity pie will go the leeks, the parsley, the cheese and the cream but 
I will substitute the potatoes with, this is lightly cooked cauliflower. So it's almost like a leeks and cauliflower cheese in a pastry base. So then I had to look at how I'm gonna make my uh, crust, my pastry, gluten-free and low carb. Difficult, and I'm gonna be making it today for the first time ever. This is either gonna be really entertaining or it'll go well. There could be tears, but I'll, I'll keep it together. And I'm gonna run through my ingredients of how I'm gonna make this and a substitution I had to make. So I have in the bowl over here, 100 grams of ground almonds. I have 25 grams of hard Italian cheese. I've used Grana Padano, you could use any hard Italian cheese. And here I have a quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. The next ingredient that the recipe called for was 20 grams of coconut flour. None of our supermarkets had any of it, and if it was in the supermarket, it was hidden. Couldn't find it. So when I got home, I researched, what can you use instead of coconut flour? And it said I could use milled flaxseed. I thought, well, I've got flaxseed. These are flax seeds. These are seeds that I buy to put on my yogurt or on my porridge for my breakfast. Extra protein, extra fiber in my breakfast. And all I did is I used my little grinder. There it is. And it's something that you could either grind coffee in. If you had something, one of those products called a Nutri Bullet, something that grinds up things fine. And, and that's what it's turned into, like a flour. So that's gonna go in it as well. I'm then gonna have 50 grams of chopped, very cold butter and one egg. And I will add this to my food processor and then I will add the, the butter, then I'll add the egg. And finally, I will add the, this is now called flax meal when it's at this stage. I'll add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper into the pastry as well. So without further ado, I'm going to get cooking.
We had that for lunch and it was absolutely delicious. So we're out walking now on the Nantes Brest Canal as it runs through Carhe, a nearby town, out with the dogs having a lovely walk. It's a totally beautiful day. We really hope that you enjoyed our video. If you did, go on, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, go on, hit the subscribe button. You don't want to miss our videos. Now tell me, do you eat homity pie? If not, what is your favourite vegetarian dish? Do you make a low-carb version of something that everybody else eats? If you do, leave us a comment. Just leaves me to say on behalf of Mike and I, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.